hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm chanel and today we're going to count down my five most regrettable trendy purchases so before we dive into my regrettable purchases let me set the scope for selecting these items my criteria for selecting these items was simple i asked myself was it an item that I purchased based on social influence at that time? Is it an item that I saw trending on social media? That's what caused me to make the impulse decision to purchase. Is it an item that I got course per wear from? And lastly, is it an item that I still reach for to date? We're going to count down these items from my least regretted to my most regretted. Let's dive right in. My first regrettable purchase is influencer backed or inspired makeup. Back then, any products of my favorite influencers swore by, whether it be lippies, lip glosses, eyeshadows, you name it, I got it. Correction, they name it, I got it. Anything they suggested once it was in their videos, I would have ran out and purchased immediately and because of that now i have so many palettes that i still to date do not use i think the sad part is this isn't even half of my makeup collection now and i only have one face and two eyes and for the amount of times that i wear makeup now this is literally too much so i would say this is definitely one of my biggest waste of money ever but it is what it is but i say i'll just put it in here because it's the sad truth this next item is one that i'm certain everybody and their mother bought and today probably still have in their closet it's an item that when i purchased it i really really wanted it and i was certain that it could have been implemented into my closet and i would have gotten so much use out of it but unfortunately that was not the case and the product that did not withstand the test of time I'm certain you know what is in here. I am absolutely certain. The Gucci belt. Guys, I would say when I purchased this, it was definitely based on impulse and something that I saw trending on social media. And now it's like one of those things that I rarely even use. Like it's literally in excellent condition just there. I still will use this item, but I definitely did not get the way out of it that I expected to. And also, I kind of rather my Louis Vuitton as opposed to this one. So it definitely goes under one of my regretted purchases. Major disclaimer, this next regrettable purchase, I'm looking at it right now and it's here based on personal preference. So if it's items that you still have in your closet and you love, that is okay. We all have our own personal preference. And I would say when I purchased these items, I absolutely loved them. But as I evolved and my style evolved, it's no longer where I am at. I can literally hear some of you all coming for me, but it's my fashion over dresses. I pulled out a few and I think my next major declutter would be playing out my dress collection. Guys, when I bought this dress, I absolutely loved it and I wore it like twice but I never wore it afterwards and it's still in amazing condition. You can tell it's like hardly worn but it's just no longer my style. It's no longer something that I reach for. So I would say it's definitely a regrettable purchase. And I have multiple. I have multiple of them. I have so many fashion over dresses. I think as I age, my style changed. So now I dress a bit more conservative. I'm no longer on the hot girl thing. So I would definitely not be going out with my back out like this. It's not my style now. It's not my go-to preference. That's why I think this is one of those trendy things that i bought into one of those trendy hypes that i bought into that now i would say it does not align with who i am that's why it's on this list this next regretted purchase is one that pains me to be on this list but i would say it's on this list because there are so many replicas that now that i no longer feel the need to reach for this 
show it's my Tory Birch jelly flats and I definitely love them and I purchased them I did get good wear out of them but I stopped wearing them when I started seeing various colors popping up on my Instagram sponsored ads for ridiculously cheap prices and I'm like it's already a cheap I would say shoe why you all have to do that I would say that definitely turned me off from wearing it as much but it's still like one of my cutest dainty sandals I just don't reach for it as much that's why it's on this list also not least this is my most regretted purchase and sadly I loved it but I would say it's, it was definitely a trendy piece and I stopped using it because of the same reason as my Tory Burch jelly flats where there were too many replicas and that is my Michael Kors Hamptons bag. I did love this bag and now I just have a bunch of shit stuffed in it for to keep it shape. It's definitely a cute piece and it's just there in my closet because I refuse to wear it because it's it was one of those trendy pieces that I would say everybody came out with a version of it and it just became too saturated but I would say I would still wear this to the beach that is where it's at but to one thing though that i will say the replicas could not even come close to the original it's because the material and the contrast in leather definitely gives off that hamptons vibe as the name suggests and the richness of the metal it's kind of untouched so yeah although it's not one of my most rich four pieces anymore actually correction i don't even reach for it anymore i still definitely love this bag and i could see myself using that maybe to the beach i mean it seems like a cute little beach bag or a tobago run bag i hope you guys enjoyed counting down my most regretted purchases with me if you all feel the same of anything you all have in your closet or maybe it's different to what i listed here let me know in the comment section down below that's it for my five most regretted purchases if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below i would really like it if you subscribe and join our family i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers and thank you so much for watching this video until next time